Hey guys, this will be new for 2022. I'm adding some more stuff to the channel. Um, I've been into photography for probably 15, 20 years. It's one of my all-time favorite hobbies, top 10 anyway. And I started another channel quite a long time ago, and I just don't have the time to maintain two channels. So I'm pretty much dumped that channel, and I'm going to upload some videos that I did uh, for that channel and I'm going to put them here. I think it might interest some of some of you a lot of it will be You know out in the Rockies um, Taking photos and such a lot of it will be with film. I love film photography Some of it will be with digital, but it will be hopefully interesting to some of you and I'm going to start posting these uh, Hopefully once a week. Maybe I'll call it uh, film Friday or something. Anyway, this will be the first installment um, and more to come This is one of the cameras that's going to be featured on this channel. It's a Leica M3 from 1961 and I had it customized. This is the first video of what I hope to be a cool channel. It's going to revolve around minimalist camera gear. It hit me about 10 years ago in Vancouver Island as I was walking around Victoria with a giant backpack full of camera gear. I was afraid to leave it in the hotel room, and I was afraid to leave it in my truck. The backpack just screamed, steal me. But before all that, I was flat out upgrading my Digi stuff every six months, swapping out bodies like underwear. Eventually, I got rid of it all and purchased my first Leica. It was an M9. No excuses now. If it was out of focus, it was my fault, not the camera's fault. I've had a few Leicas in the past, including a couple M9s, a couple M6s, I really should have kept one of them, and one or two M3s. I've also had a couple of awesome compact film cameras over the years, like the Contax T3 or Ricoh GR1V. So in 2014, I decided to build uh, a custom Leica M3. I've tried a ton of cameras, and this definitely was, and still is, my favorite. And again, that was back in 2014. So this is it here. Um, basically, I, I matched it up with a Summicron, and that's the Gen 4. This is the lens hood and cap. And the Gen 4 Summicron is a 50mm Summicron F2. Beautiful lens, unbelievable quality, and the perfect match for an M3. So what I got done to this guy is I got a full CLA, of course. Uh, I got a new curtain put in. And... I have new multi-coated windows in the viewfinder. The M3 is renowned for its awesome viewfinder, but now it's even better. So multi-coated uh, windows in the top plate in the viewfinder. I got black chrome lugs installed. Um, and I got the film counter painted, which you saw in some of the other clips. Uh, Stuart Vu did the paint job, the black paint. And the case is black lizard skin. I'm so happy with this thing. I love it. Um, I've got a couple accessories for it, but really not much. Um, I've got a couple ND filters. That's a 10 stop if I want to go really slow shutter speeds. And there's a 2 stop in case it's really bright out. I can put that guy on and still shoot at f2. And I also got a red filter for black and white stuff. I have a Leica MC meter, which are very cool. And there's some stuff on YouTube about this one. Um, I don't use it much. I kind of have been shooting in manual for, I don't know, 10 years or so. And I kind of know the settings, what kind of film I have in it, and I can kind of figure out my exposure settings on my own, most of the time anyway. Um, I have an old case. I've had it on many Leicas. I got this on eBay. Uh, this is Mr. Zhao half case, and it's held up amazingly. Again, I don't know how many Leicas this has been on of mine, but it's been kicking around for years. And I have a shutter release cable, and that's about it. The other thing I love about these cameras is there's no batteries. There's no charging. There's no running out of batteries or any of that crap. It's a mechanical camera. It's not going to fail. It's awesome. No batteries. I love it. Um, the only thing you need to put in it is lots of film. And there you go. So uh, that's, 
you know, this is my favorite camera. Digital cameras come and go. Uh, this guy I'm keeping forever. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is the first episode, what I hope to be an awesome channel, and we'll get out and do some shooting in the next episode.